Hi, and welcome back. It seems no one spotted the big mistake in my review of the Kirchhoff EQ. No, I don't mean the fact that you can set up the double-click high-pass filter workflow in the settings. Yes, I did miss that, but I'm still giving the fab filters the win for having it as default behaviour. It's not the fact that there is indeed a band split option. Again, I'm still giving the fab filters a win here for having a more intuitive interface, though that might be just me being too dumb to try right-clicking the node. I'm also not referring to my erroneously calling the 117-bit feature 114-bit. Seriously, how am I supposed to remember a number that's not a power of two? Some people were quick to point out that the 117-bit mode does genuinely do what it claims to, and that there are real differences at around minus 300 dB. I didn't actually suggest it wasn't, though some commenters wondered if it might be mining crypto, but I don't need 300 dB of dynamic range, and I'm curious to know what project you're working on that does. No, in fact, the mistake I refer to was in the listening test. Here's the clip. See if you can spot it this time. Here's a mix that can take a healthy high frequency boost. Here it is with that boost. Can you tell which is which? Did you get it? I'll play it again and stop when we get to the mistake. Q3 isn't properly muted here. My automation should have been at minus infinity, but it's actually more like minus 35. So in fact, everything got a tiny bit louder for this section. It's interesting that no one noticed this, despite the visual clue. In fact, if I'd set this up as a blind test, even I wouldn't have noticed. That minus 35 dB Q3 version that's mixed in by mistake is louder than the difference between the EQs, according to the null test. And yet, some people who apparently missed that mistake still swear they can hear a difference and that Kirchhoff is clearly superior. So, this is for those people in the comments. You know who you are. I'm going to use my final day of demo period to set up the same test again, but do it properly this time, which means also doing it blind. I'm not going to tell you which was which at the end. I'm going to give those commenters an opportunity to prove how clear and obvious the difference is by identifying it by ear. Maybe I'll set up a poll or something. And I'll give you the answer in a future short video, if I remember. <laughs>